whether I want to get an app that was created by someone in my organization or an app from an online service. I simply click the Get button and I'll be taken to an interface for apps for Power BI. My organization's apps are on this tab. Other apps are found here. And then I have some specific choices that are not Power BI apps. These are apps for Dynamics, for Office 365, and so on. And clicking any of these choices or this choice will take me to App Source, which is where all of the apps are for Dynamics and Office and the Power Platform. If I'm looking for a specific app, I can enter a search string and look. And this will return, for example, apps for Dynamics Business Central. I can clear the search box to return to the entire list of apps. And you can scroll this. Won't take you forever. There are three pages of service apps right now. And when you find the app that you want to install, then you simply click to install it. And the application that I'm looking for is the LinkedIn Sales Navigator Analytics integration. So I want to analyze my LinkedIn Sales Navigator data. This is typical of the apps that are available. Here on the left, we have pricing. This one happens to be free. Not all of them are. There are some very expensive apps. Acquire using a work or school account. In other words, this is not for your personal account, but your LinkedIn Sales Navigator account, which would be a work account typically. And it says to get started, you must have a LinkedIn Sales Navigator enterprise plan and be an admin or a reporting user on a Sales Navigator contract. If any of this is something you need more information about, talk to your IT department. And this is what the dashboards will look like. This particular app was built by Microsoft. I'm going to click Get It Now. And because this is a full-featured application, it will load with sample data so that I can install it and take it for a little bit of a spin without needing to connect to my own data. I have a choice to install this in its own workspace. I'm going to overwrite a prior version that I had installed at one time in the past. My workspace has been updated. I can go there. And at the top, note, you're viewing this app with sample data. To view your own data, connect. And there's a connection here. And I have dashboards, reports. And here is my data set. So I'm going to go first to my report and click, and it will show me again this information using sample data. And that's what's in this particular application. Later on, I can choose to connect my data, or I might decide that I no longer want to work with this app, in which case I could remove it. But right now it's on my favorites and frequents list, as well as on my recents list simply because I chose Get Data, and in doing so, when I use my organization or services, I get an entire application.